Hey guys, welcome back to the Ride Ride Waxing channel. So, what have we got on the bench today? We have a Burton Process 155. Pure rocker board, absolutely. You've got to look at that bend in the middle of that board. This literally is a jib machine. Spinning 360s, you've got a lot of um, composites. So it basically bends up like a banana. So your main traction point is here in the center, opposed to a rocker which does this, so your pressure points are here. So it would be nice and good on the turns. It obviously won't carve super, super fast. Well, you can still carve these by putting a lot of pressure on them, but there is an immense amount of rocker in this board. Absolutely awesome. You can ride this switch, great park board, just all around good mountain board, basically. Uh, 155 in length, styling some awesome union bindings. Just a really, really nice setup. Now, I've just done a Burton board with full base delamination on one of the noses um, and I had some epoxy left over. So actually what I did do off camera, uh, this has got a couple of little nicks just here and the big one just here behind the binding. And there's some other ones around the board. So actually what I did was I infilled these and clamped these all down off camera. So I've actually already done a lot of work for the simple reason when I lay the epoxy down, I can't really then work on the underside because obviously the epoxy rubs on the bench and it makes a real mess. So what's really, really good is we're ahead of schedule on this one. So I'm going to pop in my hand and have a quick, quick, quick detailed look at this beautiful Burton board. So here we are. We've got the famous Loctite 243 blue, and that is for all the screws that go into the board. Just one dob on the actual screw. So when you put it back in, it holds a bit of grip and it stops the screws coming loose. I'm going to mark these bindings onto the board so we can make sure we put these back in the same place. We are running a nine degrees here on the back foot because these little lines go up here in th increments of three. So we're just under the 15, so we're 12 degrees here on the back foot. And on the front foot, we're very much the same. A switch stance, a 12 degrees here, also on the front foot. And again, putting a markers on here. One top tip I would always recommend is when you come back from snowboarding, get your screwdriver, basically put it in the screw and just loosen it off. For the simple reason, um, it stops the board. So like we've just done here, that one's quite loose anyway. That one's a bit better. So just crack it off. That's all you need to do. What it stops happening is basically when the temperature changes, by if you were to store it in the loft or in the garage, it stops pulling the base of the board up, causing an indentation and a pocket. So it actually just retains the actual shape of your board for a little bit longer. Just a tip, slacken them off. And then hopefully I get to service it again. Then I can put a bit more, um, obviously, uh, Loctite on it. Wrap it all up, and then, like I say, this is going to be a couple of months. This will be hitting the snow and having an awesome time. So that isn't going to happen. Uh, should I say matter? Just make sure if you can try and store your boards in the back of the wardrobe because your house is more of a neutral temperature. But anyway, let's take these awesome union binders off. Let's have a quick look at the base of this board. So there we go, one top coat. So I'm gonna polish this up and detail this up and I'm basically gonna carbon shield this. So we get some nice shine on it and also we're gonna kind of make it as water repellent as possible. But there's those areas there we've repaired. So that's got epoxy in there now. Yes, you can still see it, but it's watertight. Same just here, epoxied in there. So that's nice and watertight. Got another one just here, nice and watertight and vice versa around the board. Like I say, you won't really see these because the binding covers that one up, but it just means it stops any moisture getting into that wood top coat and core, causing any problems. We've had another one just there. So yeah, we're gonna get on and polish this up and detail this up. But before we do that, let's flip the board over. We've got a little bit of uh, high spots just here and here. Um, we've got some gouging. We're gonna give this a good clean most of a little bit of white clear PTEX in the base of this board, but there's lots of uh, gouges as you can hear, and we're going to get this as smooth as possible. Got a bit of a gouge where we can see just the back edge of the rail just there. So you can feel that. So we'll fill that back up, make sure there's no moisture can get into there. Nice little divot just there. And uh, yeah, just uh, basically in need of a jolly good base scrape. And we're going to get this word Burton looking beautiful. This is really going to pop, this is, this word. Um, especially in here, we've got people wearing 3D glasses, which is quite cool. There we go. Da -da -da. The all-seeing eye. <laughs> right, anyway, 
No further ado, you can see the camber just there. Look at that peak, peak there. That is the centre board. You can literally come up and just spin on this area and that board will reduce any catching. But what we're also going to do is we're going to sharpen up these rails because these rails are in need of a bit of love as well. So uh, not super, super sharp, but very dull, quite rusty. We're going to get these boys looking awesome. So we've got plenty of grip. And uh, yeah, we'll stay. board is going to be ready for a shreddy, as they say. So further ado, let's stick some tunes on and let's get on with a burr ton. Here we go. guys so the wax has all set on this one and we're going to get this polished up so we're going to take all the wax off we're going to use a proper very sharp toco blade scraper made of plastic and that basically you go down through the board but always working from the nose of the board to the tail of the board pushing the wax out of the way um, and then we're going to detail brush it and get it all polished up and then we're going to um, Zardos it, which is basically like a ceramic coating on the bottom to make it as waterproof as possible. It doesn't last forever, but it will make sure that your board is as fast as it can be on day one. Um, and depending on how you use it and where you use it, then obviously it will deteriorate. But then you come back and have it serviced again. But the main thing is, it's going to fly. And that's the most important thing. We've done some repairs on this board, both on the top coat with a little bit of clear epoxy, just in some areas to tidy it all up. I'm just about to carbon shield the top coat here, give it a good polish, clean all that up, make sure it's lovely and add the legendary Ride Right Waxing sticker, of course. And then we're going to get on and sort all this out. The edges have been sharpened. And again, they are coming up absolutely lovely. Um, and we're going to get it polished up, like I said. So, uh, yeah, everything's gone into this board. Bit of P-Tex, uh, edging, bit of epoxy, you name it. Uh, I can make this as near as to new as I physically can with the dinks and donks it's got on it. But those dinks and donks are basically what I call memory stamps. Indeed, They're, the boards do get wrecked. Uh, my battalion, I like to keep them perfect. Um, his buddy board, which is a ride, a sketchy tank which is a ride x board lovely board a beautiful condition and it breaks my heart when you're in the ski lift and somebody on a set of rentals goes straight across the top of your board you're like oh, really does me head in or vice versa another snowboard just like scratching down the side of it um but yeah that's the nature of it unfortunately or you clip a rock that's also the other thing which i've got a set of skis which poor gentleman has clipped a rock so we've got to have a core shot coming up and how we repair that so guys hit like hit subscribe saves me saying it later on in the video but i'm rambling on let's get on and get this burton popping <laughs> So there we are guys, one Burton process, all processed. It is lovely this board now. Uh, we have got a fantastic shine on it, I must say so myself. Check that bad boy out, it is lovely on this board. Absolutely lovely. And I must admit, I've kind of never really seen a board that has got that much rocker on it. It is severe, I'd love to ride this board. That centre line there was really quite dry. And it really does camber right off. It's so concaved. I reckon 360s on this would be brilliant. Just a little bit of a kick and then you just literally centralise your body and the thing will just spin fantastically well. Honestly, it is just insane. Absolutely insane. 
Yeah, what a lovely, lovely board. Really, really lovely board. And uh, yeah, it's come up lovely. We put a bit of P-Tex in the base of this board, just to kind of really, uh, we could have gone on and on and gone. There's lots of scrapes and dents and dinks, but the deeper ones we have filled, we have base scraped those back out. We've sharpened the rails and we've dull and tipped those in, as I've explained earlier, to reduce catching. Um, and we've polished and detailed the top coat. We sealed off those areas um, with some epoxy to stop any wood getting into the, uh, sorry, water getting into the wood underneath that core. Um, and just being ultra fussy and uh, make sure that really that the board is absolutely bang on point. But guys, if you want to cop yourself some merch, ride that waxing hat. That's what you need because when it gets cold, these things are boiling because I'm wearing in here and I sweat my backside off. Um, I do need to take the label off though, to be brutally honest. But anyway, one button board, all processed. I am well happy with this. So guys, please go along, hit like, hit subscribe and uh, we'll bring you more content. I've got a lot of skis coming up. A lot of skis. This is the last of the boards for a while. So uh, we'll be changing these stands out for my new ski stands. And uh, we'll be cracking on with those. So guys, thank you very much indeed for watching. But until next time, we will see you soon.